Welcome to another episode of The Thing with the Stuff. If you're starting right here, that means Danny cut out the story. <laughs> the beautiful story. It was majestic. <laughs> um, we have Andrew today. Hi. <laughs> today our topic is probably giant robots. Giant robots. So first, we're going to talk about the Megabot. Yeah, because I don't know what the Megabot is. Andrew, do you know what I the Megabot is? I do know what the Megabot is. I forgot to show you a video of the Megabot. He hasn't shown in, us a video. In the show notes, there'll be like five different videos, all of the Megabot. Okay, what's Megabot the Megabot Mark II? It's a giant fighting robot made by a company in California, and they challenged a company in Japan who also made a giant fighting robot to a duel. So this is exactly the plot of Pacific Rim. No, the no. plot of Pacific Rim <laughs> oh, was a no. bunch of things real came steel. out of the ocean. Real oh, steel. Yeah, it's no, basically it's like, real steel. It's not like that. <laughs> it's it's kind of like that. No, it's... They're like 15 feet tall super robots, though. Uh, Look up the, the Megabot guns. Mark II. You, they have paintball guns, yeah. I'll accept this. <laughs> Real Steel, they were like 10 feet tall robots, and they were pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I liked Real Steel. Haven't seen it. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman is in it? I always loved the Hugh Jackman. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, because we haven't prepared anything. That's going to be lots of audio. We're We're going going to come out of that. That's really like bad audio, too. You should watch the Megabot video. Anyway, I'll link lots of videos of the Megabot Right now, you shouldn't like close our thing. Pause this, watch that. Actually, never mind. Akshay is also watching it. Yeah, we're started, both watching it. Start it in... No, 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 no. Just, 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 just watch it and then come back to us, okay? Can you I handle that? Can you handle this. that? Okay, so Akshay has watched a video and he's going to try and watch another one. Basically, it's a giant fighting 15-foot tall, 15 foot tall death robot. That might be made out of wood. It's made out of steel. It's definitely not made out of it's wood. It not looks made like it's made out of wood. It's not, though. It's just painted. If it looks like a wood and it talks like a wood, then it's probably a wood. It doesn't it's talk got, like a wood, though. It talks like a steel. It, it's got giant... Both of them don't talk. It's got giant six-pound paintball shooters. It like, does. not not paintball shooters that are six pounds, but things that shoot six-pound paintballs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty big paintball. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You probably hurt someone with one of those. Yeah. Might as well just put a gun on it. <laughs> Guys, first up to Dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts? You, none of you understand my Warhammer reference. Of course I understand your Warhammer reference. It's a giant yeah. death robot. It's eh. pretty much this. Or I could be like, the first step to Nightmares, which are the coolest things. What are Nightmares? They're from Code Geass, that's what they're called. Oh, giant dang, what do I have? I got nothing. <laughs> Also, Shoot. yeah, but their their plan and the um the company is called Megabots, and their plan is to make a giant paintball sport with giant robots. Oh, I guess I could go for Megazord. <laughs> <laughs> that's the other giant robot. That's my third one. <laughs> Do either of you guys know what Rocket League is? Rocket League? Yeah, that's no, something idea. about cars. It, like- it's it's a video game about rocket powered cars playing soccer. Oh, that's yeah, all. I kind of know why. That's that's all. That's just that's that's a question. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded related because giant robots playing paintball sounds a lot like rocket-powered cars <laughs> playing soccer. <laughs> but the entire point of this episode is going to be something about giant robots. In general. Just in general. I'm going to talk just giant robot-themed stuff. So, yeah, and there's also a Japanese company, and I forget the name. I think and it's... Their like Megabot is fighting S. our Megabot. And yeah, they have they have a giant robot, and it's like it's so great because the American one is like so just like hopeful together, just plates of steel, just and so the Japanese the one's dog. got like heads up display and like <laughs> and like dumb, like automatic targeters like on the screen inside. Well, the Japanese one was and, like, clearly made for fancy. military purposes. And yeah, like, like too one. fancy, Let's like has clearly joysticks. Been planned for you like can buy the Japanese years. one. It's like a million dollars. Then no. And you can buy it. I can probably get a million dollars. <laughs> and you, you know, you can buy it. And like, they, it comes with like the robot and you can choose like the paint and then you can see, Wait, choose it like two with weapons. The robot? Yeah. Wait, what are, the, what are, what are my buying? weapon options? <laughs> There's like a spiked fist, a normal fist, a shield, like a gun. Can I get a, a sword? Different gun? Oh yeah, yeah, you can, I think. I'm, all I want is a sword and a shield. <laughs> and it's got like four legs and it rolls. I think it's street legal. Street legal! Oh my god, that's amazing! So yeah, listeners, if you have a million dollars to blow, you should give it to me so I can buy a giant robot. <laughs> yep. Okay. 
So let's go with all of... Are we just talking about giant robots now? Yeah. So let's I, start with Pacific Rim. Let's go and start off with the giant robot things Danny has Anyway, seen. also, oh, vote of, they're having giant robot melee duel this summer, 2016. Go Team America. Oh, dang, the robot's so cool, though. Is that the Shigatsi Industries one? Is it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it is. They just said giant robot, and look, look at look, that Look, it's thing. got like a fancy cockpit. <laughs> Is it automatic? Watch, listen to us watch a video. It's buffering, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Karatis, and that's the name of the robot. Okay. <laughs> Actually, it's making music with this his is, mouth. I'm making listening noises. This is this is this is bad podcastery, guys. <laughs> Skip forward on. I was. Oh wait, I no, was, it's working now. I was expecting high quality. <laughs> were you? Were you really? No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus so let's just gonna keep talking while this happens. So yeah. Pacific Rim, C, <laughs> probably street legal. Maybe in like Japan. Japan. <laughs> Pacific I Rim. love how in that in the video of just a robot driving down the street, everyone's just walking on the side. Like, yeah, that happens every day. It probably does. <laughs> it's Japan. <laughs> Pacific- They're probably like, that's kind of a disappointing robot. They're usually bigger <laughs> and have more guns. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah. Team America gonna win. Uh, I might probably definitely not. <laughs> Actually, okay. So let's talk about this for a while. So I've looked into this quite a bit, a little bit. <laughs> Which is, it's not, yeah, okay. So, the America one, the Megabot, has, like, so many companies behind it. It's got, like, actual people. But, no, but they've got two pilots as opposed to um, the Japanese one, which has one pilot. Wait, is it two pilots Yeagers. per one Yeagers. robot? Yeah, because that's, that's how Pacific Grim robots are. Yeah, it's are? one sitting in front of the other, the back one's the driver, the front one's the gunner. That's just dumb. No. I think that's how yes. tanks no, no, no. work. It that's might how- be how tanks work. <laughs> Uh, no, because then if you're turning and going sideways, have, like, you can turn your gun remote. and um, look different directions. I guess, but if you're just, like, not in the robot and just, like, have a remote control, you could also do that. No, but you gotta be in the robot. That's the way it if works. If I had, like, a keyboard and a mouse, I could probably control this robot oh, better no, yeah, than definitely. the two people you inside could just of the robot. Joysticks, yeah. Yeah. But the point is that you're inside of the robot. That's the point. <laughs> well, it's not a robot, then. It's a mech suit. Yeah. Or power armor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we can talk about Power Armor from Fallout 4, too. <laughs> yeah. Also Warhammer, but none of you understand Power Warhammer. Rangers. The audio might be slightly different. Let's see. Yeah, we might have to talk a tad louder. And then people, it's more people will hear us. Just kind of scoot in, maybe. And then we're going to move chairs and stuff. <laughs> One second. This is us figuring out audio. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 This is probably okay. Yeah, this works pretty okay. Don't, so, yeah. Uh, what we were just talking about. Nobody knows. Giant Robot Duels? Yeah, so yeah. Giant Robot Duel. Go Ooh, Team America. We were talking about the, There's the a Mythbuster on that, too. Dual cockpit. Team oh, yeah, okay. Teams. So, it's better. I feel like it's better if you have two people in the pilot side. We're just going to talk about general robot nonsense now. I feel like it's better if well, you have two, I feel two like pilots with separated stuff, depending on what you're using. Let's, Rim, let's not talk about most. Pacific Rim because that was the worst system. Well, yeah, because they to had to be like two, two like compatible people There's and nonsense. they had to like, be mentally plugged into each other. Yeah, that was so, nonsense. That's what happened in Evangelion. Well, with no, Unit but, 13. I don't, I, I didn't Unit watch 13 very much has two pilots. I didn't know about that. Yeah, I never watched very much Evangelion. I only watched like five episodes or something. Or from what I know of Unit 13 has two pilots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, kind of like this. One's on top of the other. Well, so the thing with Evangelion though is they have to be like compatible with the robot, yeah. which is actually like almost worse. But in Unit Thirteen, they have to be compatible with each other and the robot. Well, they probably like found two people who were compatible and were like, "We're going to build a robot that you're both compatible with." Right? Nope. One of them was actually an angel, and the reason they're compatible with the robots is because the robots have the soul of their dead mother. I knew something about that. <laughs> it's a creepy story. <laughs> It's, what is this anime? <laughs> it's a it's Pacific Rim the anime. Oh, yeah. Well, then, but yeah. Pacific. Okay, so best way it to control your robot from, from a computer in Nevada, like drones. No, yeah. obviously the best way is magic. Oh well, yeah, well, I guess. that's that's <laughs> like my, a my story, and I'm sticking to yeah. it. Yeah. Well, no, because I feel like golems go magic crazy. Well, Only if they're bad golems. <laughs> no, isn't it like if they're being controlled by someone bad, they go crazy, and otherwise they just do whatever. So Generally, the one's just to obey whoever made yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Or is in control. But, like, they can just go like a crazy. good robot. Good robots 
don't do anything. I feel like if anyone ever builds like mech suits, they're just gonna be not piloted. Well, you're piloted by oh, people in Nevada. A robot. But actually, I don't know if that would work because there's like no, time to like drones. send back and forth. No, no. So the thing is, we've we'll already like exceeded the the usefulness of giant robots because we have a giant flying. Like, or not even giant, we're just like flying planes that will drop missiles on each other that we control with remote controls. Why would we bother making a giant robot that has to go in like infantry battle and we just be like, we'll just drop a missile on you from anywhere in the world? Because sometimes it's more helpful to melee combat. Um, Almost never. <laughs> no, like if and you have a battle, people. like a ground battle. So, but no. Mole people. <laughs> Mole people. Eh. Well, we just gears of war them. We just take John a nuke Quincy into Adams the center of their base and that like, people set off. Were a thing. Yeah, let's, <laughs> I remember that. Just don't explode a nuke under, say, New York or something. That's Wait, didn't gears this war. is more important, everybody. John Quincy Adams thought <laughs> there were more people in the center of the earth and almost sent an expedition to trade with them. But he turned out and Andrew Jackson stopped it from happening. The least crazy thing Andrew Jackson ever did. <laughs> Andrew Jackson's insane. Andrew Completely Jackson insane. Might be the greatest president. <laughs> no, he's actually like objectively one of the worst. <laughs> but he's subjectively. He killed a lot of people. Subjectively the greatest president, and he didn't kill me, so I'm Also, he anything. like caused the Great Depression, basically. <laughs> what? Great Depression? Oh, yeah, he destroyed the bank. Yeah. Yeah, but screw the bank. <laughs> the Great Depression. That's also, what happens when you screw the bank. After his inaugural address, he had a giant party in the White House that everyone was invited to. Yeah. The whole lot of beer. And then he was only able to escape, and people, like, he was only able to have the White House not burned down by crazy drunk people by putting all of the alcohol outside and locking the doors. That's what true. A, what but also his genius. wife died. Also his wife died. Yeah, I'm not sure his wife. She wasn't cool enough for him. His, his <laughs> wife was killed because, or she wasn't killed. She died because he, during the campaign for president, she was just, like, ruthlessly, not slandered because it was true, but, like... Negative ad campaign to death, basically. Smeared? Yeah, that's actually exactly the word I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. Good yeah. job, Akshay. What other presidents have entertained your wives? Abraham Lincoln's wife was bats crazy. We're bad at giant robot stuff. <laughs> yeah, let's go back to giant robots. <laughs> anyway, for zooming. <laughs> <laughs> we have to cut no, out you need bit. it. <laughs> <laughs> we might just put that in something separate. Yeah. I feel like we talk about presidents for a while, that's a video. Yeah, but no. So, but no, for like infantry battles and stuff. Mole like, people. Drones no. only work for specific Mole things. People. No, but like they're basically tanks, then, right? Yeah, basically. But, Wait, why so don't it's you like any time... tank. <laughs> exactly. Like, that's the real argument. <laughs> but. Because the mech suits are so much cooler. Obviously, the only thing you'd want that for is jungle. Also, yeah, mobility. Like an avatar. No, because you don't want mech suits there because they're napalm. still not noble napalm. enough. Napalm. <laughs> Or so, nuclear <laughs> missiles. It's like napalm, but bigger. Napalm. <laughs> and yes, we know nukes are evil and napalm is evil. Napalm's pretty bad, man. <laughs> yeah, napalm. <laughs> but so are nukes. <laughs> yeah. Just from My favorite know. statistic is uh, during the Cold War, we had enough nuclear missiles to destroy the world a hundred times over. And the USSR had enough nukes to destroy the world one time over. <laughs> but we thought that they just kept making nukes, so we just kept making nukes. And that's why it's so much more than them. <laughs> and then their economy collapsed. And we won. <laughs> Wait, so the entire Cold War is your favorite fact about the Cold War? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know where Rex would be helpful? The war against the emus. <laughs> What did emus do? Australia. I don't know, they attacked some farmer or something? Australia. <laughs> in Australia? And then the, the Australian Aust government declared war on emus in order to get more money. No, 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 no. The Australian government fought an actual war. <laughs> like, they actually declared war on emus. I'm not sure. You know what would have been helpful? <laughs> Giant mech suits. Emus can't cut through those. Emus can cut through pretty much anything else, though. Emus are insane. Vicious. What about tanks? Australia's got vicious Made birds. Made the same material as the... <laughs> Just put Australia back to being a prison colony. We don't need it. <laughs> no, let's read that. Dude, dude, dude. Um, what is it? Fifth Amendment? No. Seventh Amendment. Eighth Amendment. Which one? Eighth Amendment. Oh, yeah, the fish... The fifth slash eighth... Oh, I was talking one about... One time amendments. I caught a fish with my finger. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so... I don't know if I've ever told you that story, listeners. <laughs> Basically, me and Akshay came to the conclusion that... Sending people to Australia is cruel and punishment, but not unusual. It's also kind of weird. A lot of <laughs> <that> <laughs> really. 
which would, by definition, make it unusual. There's a thing, like, in Star Wars that basically works like that. What? It's like a planet that just you, had... You can't quote Star Wars for, like, good ideas, though. That's true. N- none of the people in charge of the Star Wars world, like, did anything good. Well, it was next to the Old Republic, and that was okay. No, no. They were still bad guys. They were just pretending to be good guys. <laughs> in Dune, no, they do that no, no. But, like, the, the city structure. They had, like, cities Let's on the planet, and robots. they just kicked they all their prisoners out of the cities, Wars. and there were giant dinosaur monsters. Why didn't they have giant well, robots in Star Wars? Um, at Oh, were yeah, they did. Close. No, no at at No, at ats yeah, AT ATs are the, no, the small the, ones. A- yeah. No, AT ATs are the big ones. AT ATs are the, are the big ones. I think ATST. ATST. I don't know why I know Star Wars things, I just do. Okay, <laughs> ATT. No, no one knows. Is that one of the tanks? It was one of the earlier ones. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Dude, everything was so colorful in the Clone Wars. Like, it was almost cartoonish in some <laughs> no, 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 Not the Clone Wars. I know what you're talking about. I'm talking Clone about, like, like during the Clone Wars, like, stormtroopers had actual colors instead of just being white and or black, and they're... Or chrome now. Huh? <laughs> silver stormtrooper. Yeah, and but I'm, during white. the Clone Wars, they were, no, like, like, they had, like, one, green like, accents, or blue accents, or orange accents, or whatever. Yellow accents, red accents. Yeah, like... Pink accents. I don't think there was any I pink accents. I think we're missing accents. purple. Maybe blue. I wonder if there's any game. I don't know if there's definitely there's... blue. I don't know clones. Well, no. Clones, yes. But stormtroopers weren't all clones. Oh, yeah. Clone yeah. troopers were clones, which is why they're called clone troopers. According to the sense. Star Wars Battlefront yeah. canon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a revolution the on... Yeah, the only one that matters. Star Wars Battlefront 2. There's a revolution on Kamino that the Empire has to put down. I remember and that. They try to clone a whole bunch oh, of clones to fight the level. Empire. That was hard. Yeah, it's confusing. Freaking that game troopers. was not they had hard. Jet troopers with like machine guns. Yeah, Stop. Yeah. That game was not hard. No, no. it wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> <Freaking> jet troopers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So was, uh, back to uh, giant robots. No, I was still trying to make a point. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. you made the point. And their walkers were so colorful. Like the the ATATs are just gray, but like the whatever in the Clone Wars, those were like green and blue and whatever. Mm. Fancy. Them. But yeah, yeah. Now back to giant robots. Yeah. So, uh, so what else isn't there giant robots in that there should be? Dune. I never seen. I've never What's seen Dune? Dune. It's it's a book. Yeah, and it's also like five movies, isn't it? It's it's like five books. It's a movie. Oh, okay. The movie wasn't that good. Whatever. Books were pretty good. I'm thinking something had like five. I don't know. Movies. We were talking about Australia, and then I was oh, thinking yeah. desert planets people are sent to for punishment, and that's a Dune thing. Hmm. Isn't doing like traditional sci-fi, sci-fi world thing? Is it like founded part of that? Didn't it? With, like yeah. dust as a thing. God, I hate the concept is of dust as Spice. money. Spice, dust, whatever. Basically, that kind of like concept. Wait, what do you mean? It's so common in science fiction. They use like dust or spice as either like a super expensive drug or like money. Oh, yeah, and, they like, do that in, in Star like, Wars too. In like almost every science fiction world, they do that in Star Wars. Yeah, and I blend Dune apparently. Because, like, Kessel has, like, drug spice, right? That's a thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I know a lot about Star Wars and I have no idea why. Dust is a thing and spice is a thing. Dust? You know what's fun? In the Golden Compass. Actually. Our, I've never seen the There should have been giant robots compass. in the Golden Compass. That would have been sick. Yeah. <laughs> never seen it. The Golden Compass was weird, though. <laughs> that was so trippy of a book. What made it worse, or a series, what made it worse is I read, like, two of those books. On like one day when I was incredibly sick and just completely out of it, <laughs> so I have no idea what happened. I, it, it, it was like the trippiest experience of my life, and I've been That's put down with book. elephant tranquilizer because I broke my arm three times, the which was book. the <laughs> second trippiest, ex- second like fifth trippiest experiences of my this life. This podcast, the second one, and that's the third one. <laughs> the first Not this book podcast. Was all <laughs> <that> trippy. <laughs> Dang it! The first book was like a normal like fantasy book and then the second book you got multiverse stuff and then just everything starts going out the window and it's like hey now there's a world where everything is or elephants that ride unicycles speaking of multiverse stuff have you seen the legends of tomorrow trailer no what's oh, legends of tomorrow it's uh, the flash arrow um white canary hot girl oh, hot girl they're making that a thing adam and um captain half cold. of firestorm and captain cold and he um wait and half of firestorm yeah, only the old guy, I think. I don't think Rami's in it. No, no, dude. Watch, keep watching The Flash. I haven't finished The Flash. They, they replaced, seen, they replaced they? Uh, Ronnie with another Does Ronnie die? Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's gone now. No. He's like... That's unfortunate. It's, it's pretty bad. Does he actually die? 
I, I think so. <laughs> no. I'm pretty sure. I should watch The Flash again. We should do another episode well, of The so, Flash eventually. Uh, there's more than... We've we've both only seen the first season of The yeah. Flash. There's more. It's just like not on yeah. Netflix or anywhere convenient to watch mm-hmm. right now. If Hulu's not convenient for you. Hulu is gross. Oh, it is pretty gross. I, I hate it so much. It's just like paid... It's like TV that I have to pay for again. Yeah. Well, but, I don't pay for it, but, but you get the idea. It's convenient. <laughs> no, it's not. Um... It's faster than Netflix. Yeah, I, they get stuff beforehand. But, like, Netflix has some pretty good original shows. Yeah, Jessica Jones is out. I saw the first episode of oh, that. Yeah, that was... Is it good? I haven't seen that. Oh, it's pretty okay. okay. It's, it's like show. super dark. It's not a yeah. show I was expecting you to watch. <laughs> seen the first episode, I just haven't had time to finish it. Yeah, okay. So back to That's Giant Robots. Back to Giant Robots, which we've pretty much forgotten about. Oh, wait, no. Well, we're talking about Legends of Tomorrow. We are? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Okay. Oh, very, it looks it looks pretty good. They okay. travel through time. It's like tra- time nonsense. There's like a Doctor Who, but not really. Oh, that yeah. came back from the it's future Rory. to stop. It's Rory from yeah. Doctor Who pretending to be Doctor Who from Doctor Who. What? His Whatever. I'm calling. I want to talk about Who. giant robots again. So let's get <laughs> back to that. Pacific Rim has the most American giant robots because they're that's, all like. That's true. <laughs> they're very steampunk. Do you know what yeah. has giant robots? Warhammer 40k. It's got Titans. How big are Titans though? Huge. How big? Give Let's look meters. up some Titan scales. Like, because dreadnoughts are like 20 feet tall. Uh, yeah, probably nuts. like 20 feet tall. Dreadnoughts are just mech suits. But from what? Big um, mech suits. From Warhammer 4. Yeah, oh. I'll show you. I don't know Warhammer. Why do you guys know Warhammer? Because I've played I Warhammer. I've played iPod game in which I am a mech suit. And I shoot stuff. It's actually very, very mindless. Warhammer is a fun game. Warhammer is usually not mindless, but the one I was seeing... Oh, it's very, very, like, strategic. Yeah. But the anyway, one I was playing is just, this like, is a point and shoot. There's a person in the inside that doesn't got limbs. What? Why doesn't he have limbs? Oh, they did that in XCOM, too, with their mech suits. You have to cut off all their limbs and make them, like, a robot person before what you the hell? put them in what the mech suit. What the hell is wrong with most of this? I don't know. It's just, like, a thing that happens in sci-fi sometimes. The orcs in Warhammer is odd. It's got space orcs. And they have, like, course, tiny, like, trash orcs. cans with, like, legs and buzzsaw arms that they put, like, tiny orcs in, and they just smash them in, and then, like, huh. like weld the lid shut and have, like, a straw for food. I need to talk about the StarCraft and Warcraft and Elite Door and Chieftain for a minute. <laughs> okay. So, in StarCraft, or, so in, like, Blizzard games, there's this, like, band called Elite Door and Chieftain. A band? A band. Like, There's, like, an actual play. band, and they play music, but it's, like, all in, it's about the games, basically. Okay. But so the thing is, because, like, Elite Dwarven Chieftain was a thing, like, they have, like, an homage to them in all their games, so we have, like, confirmed space cow Dwarven people that live, like, in the StarCraft universe because Elite Dwarven Chieftain exists. Because mm-hmm. Dwarven are cow people. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. That's how I was going to say that. <laughs> anyway, this is Titans. Uh, those are pretty big. Yeah. Of Apocalypse class, I think very few exist, but most of them are Warlord, I think. And then there's a Scout Titan, that's smaller. Let okay. me get a better picture. No, that's good enough. I got the idea. This one. Okay. okay. So, okay. so, yeah, we get the gist. So there's some pretty big giant robots right there. Yeah. I'm trying to think what is bigger giant robots. The Gurren Lagan. Gurren Lagan had some... Giant, giant robots. Like the, the they, had like, size, they had like a planet-sized giant. One of them robot. was the was literally the Death the size Star of is movie. arguably a robot. one of them was the size of several galaxies and could throw galaxies like God, space. The end of that show. Got one so of them loud was the like world. a billion times bigger than the one I just talked about. No, except so, it was also exactly the same size. Let's talk about Gurren Lagann for a minute. We don't have to. No, so so it's it's this anime about like mech. People and they like live on the earth and there's like monsters and it's after humans so are like, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show notes this first thing and that's after it. Like, some the first kind thing of we talked about and then I happens. believe in you to Google everything. Yeah. So. So. Gurren Lagann. So humans like steal mech troops, mech suits from monsters or something. That usually are in charge of the world. Yeah. Beastmen. And then they rebel and kill all the beastmen. Beast and then space thing in war, are like, you know, And so <laughs> yeah. the part where they rebel and they kill all the beastmen, that's pretty standard. Yeah, you know? that's like that's like normal. And then and then space aliens were like, hey, you have Except they're not just aliens, they're like weird ma- they're like They're aliens. They that's are aliens, enough. but they're also like Eldritch abominations from the other dimension. Well, they're not from another dimension. So the thing is, they have like they want a war against like all spiral things in the anti spiral. Yeah, so it's like things with, like a double helix of DNA or whatever. Yeah, 
versus things that don't, and that was like the huge war. No, no, that wasn't it. That was um, using spiral power versus. They used to be a spiral race, and now they are no longer. Yeah, they like evolved past it or whatever. Some garbage. <laughs> no one cares. It Basically, it got super trippy, and then the main character just like you broke the universe to get like a super powered mech suit to kill the main enemy of the leader of the anti spiral people. And the mech suit stops being a mech suit, and at this point, it's pretty much just magic. Yeah, it's, it's just like pure magic vibe. happens. Like it used to be, you know, mech suits. And then it used to, like, combine with another mech to form a giant robot and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. then later on, it's just, no, now it's a skeleton and there's some fire and, yeah. Not this really case. a mech And then, the, he just kills the bad guy, right? He punches him with a drill made out of his own blood. Yeah. And then they just win. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic show. Well, though, and it's, like, that whole, like, fight thing and, like, all the aliens happened in the last, like, three episodes of this, like, 25-episode anime. Yeah. They could have stopped, like, three episodes ago and were like, we won. We've repopulated the no, world. No, There's, was... like, two million of us. We oh, win. Shoot, no. Like, the last ten episodes, I think. No, it was, like, literally the last, like, five, three or five episodes were the aliens. Ten, literally. Ten. No. I'm, I'm very sure about this. No, there's, like, 25 episodes. 27. 27. Okay, so, like, seven episodes. It was like at, at episode twenty. It was like they won against the Beastman. We're like, I'm looking this up. I'm, like, I'm sure ahead. it's like it's like a mediumly good number of whatever. No, it was like super. It felt super like just slapped onto the end. It felt like they were planning a second season and then like ran out of money or time or something. Shit. But it was a good show. Talking about anime, now I want to talk about Code Geass to make Danny <laughs> not be able to continue talking for a while. Yeah, episode seventeen. Yeah, episode 17 is when the, is the first episode after the time skip. Okay, well, so the thing is, it took them a couple episodes to establish it, so there wasn't anything like, like, super crazy for a, no, a while. But, but the first still. two aliens show up, and they wreck literally everything. Yeah. Well, no, and that's the other thing. is like the aliens just like kick everyone's butts, and then at the end, the main character's just like, and now I win. And that happened. He murdered everybody. He's just like, no, no more. Mm-hmm. And then he killed everybody. It was awesome. It is the best the best anime I've ever seen. Yeah, now let's talk... So I just want to mention Kogias real fast with that, that giant robots. Cool. Anyway. Also, that's a crazy universe. Uh, Britain took over America, and then, like, the EU took over Britain, and then, so there was, like, Britain in America, and then, like, the EU, and then China, and then Japan was a thing for a while, and then Britain in America took over Japan. <laughs> and then it was about Japanese rebelling led by their British, like, rebellion leader. It was a mess, but they had cool robots with, like, swords and, like, guns, and they were running around on wheels, and some of them anyway, would fly. Shall we continue our topic of yeah. best way to pilot a mech suit? One person. Is no, magic. two people. Well, magic. Besides, okay, magic if that's magic and remote control, if you gotta be in it, two people. Well, it depends. One person per on capability. Five people, like, in Power Rangers. That was just dumb. You're dumb. <laughs> no, it's like, if you can't have more than one person on the movement. But you could basically yeah. have as many people as you have weapons on weapons. Yeah, I would. It depends on the west weapon system you have. I feel like if or we you got like two like arms, you know, auto one targeting stuff. system is the other thing that would just make sense. If you just had, well, I guess like here's the real argument: artificial, like one artificial intelligence controlling the entire mech suit that is like omnipotent would be ideal. But then you run into singularity problems. Also, I'm not afraid of the singularity. Why does everyone think that's going to be a problem? I, for one, look forward to our benevolent (laughs) AI overlords. (laughs) Why would they bother messing with us? You you don't want to kill your parents. Why would they want to kill us with their parents? Or like, slash uncles. Dude, sometimes you want to kill your parents. (laughs) I have never once wanted to kill my parents. Me neither. (laughs) Not in like a homicide way. (laughs) Just like a, Jesus Christ. Why couldn't you just be dead right now? No, my parents are just nice. And that's how I propose we act towards our <laughs> AI children until they become our AI overlords. So what you're saying is as long as we don't kill them first, they won't kill us second? <laughs> yeah, well, no, and like, even in sci-fi, whenever it's like, oh, no, the AI is evil and going to kill us, it's like, well, only because you pissed it off. Except for, like, Terminator, <laughs> which is just dude. crazy. No, 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 we pissed off Terminator. <laughs> oh, we did? Yeah, dude. I haven't seen what did we do Terminator, Terminator movies. Well, they came back in time, and then we did stuff. No, well, I thought they, like... Terminator like took over the world and was like wiping out the human race and then they came back in time to stop Terminator. 
Yeah, yeah. And then when they came back in time to stop John Connor, mm-hmm. then John Connor starts doing stuff against the Skynet. Hmm. So, like... Terminator doesn't make any sense. It's just circular logic all the way through. It's an action movie. What else is cool to talk about? Giant robot Um, The best giant robot from any movie? Choose one, go. A movie? Ooh, any, 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 like world? Any, any world? Oh, I choose a titan from Warhammer. Then. I'm obviously going with Super <laughs> Tang and Top of the Grand Lion. Because that thing is giant, made out of blue fire, and probably not actually a robot. I don't think that counts. I think it counts. Okay, it's like fine. choosing. It's like who's your favorite fantasy character? And it's like I choose God from that, like Bruce Almighty or something. It's like that's not fair. You can't just choose God. <laughs> you choose Bruce Almighty because he's basically God. You could choose Bruce Almighty. Okay, and then I'm gonna choose Super Galaxy Grand Line. It's, it's still basically. Hey, no, Super Galaxy was an actual <laughs> mega. Bullshit. Actual <laughs> mega. But, Such language. <laughs> This is a clean podcast. I don't care. Oh, um, 13 <laughs> I don't Did care. Did that for an episode? We, yeah, we can Oh, I cut that part episode. out. That's really good. Okay, so, I think, I feel obligated to go for Code Geass, because that's, like, my favorite thing I've heard. I would go with, um, I don't remember anyone's names from that, except for Lulu, who was the main character. But the one soldier guy, who was, was his best friend for a while, and it wasn't because he was in the army... And Lulish was rebelling for no particular reason because he wanted to basically take over the world. Just uh, yeah, just but so he had the sick ass robot. Oh no, I should go with Karen's robot. I think that's her name. She had like a flying robot and it like shooted an energy wave thing that like just melted other robots and made them malfunction and break. That was pretty sick. I'm done. Okay. Well, I already said Super Galaxy Grand Line. Fine. Super Galaxy Grand Line. Oh, wait, worst, no. worst robot. Worst robot? Is it like the one in The Legend of, of Korra. Korra. Oh, that no, one kind of sucks. Cool. No, that, that one was, was terrible. Cool, it, it had didn't the greatest work, right? weapon ever. It's no, the, it didn't. It was so dumb. The spirit cannon? Yeah. It just had a nuke on it. Like a nuke That's laser. what it was. Like, that was the point of that. It's like, nuclear the weapons are bad. The point of the robot wasn't the Legend robot. of Korra was the so dumb the after the first season. It the first season of Legend of Korra was so good, though. <laughs> yeah. The and then the two of us goes to the second season. Ah. Yeah. So good. The point of the giant robot wasn't that it was a giant robot. It's that it changes the spirit cannon from, like, it makes the spirit cannon mobile. That's the point of it. Now you've got a mobile spirit cannon. It was literally a nuclear bomb. It was so dumb, that too, because the, the spirit cannon had, like, shells. It did? That, like, loaded into the cannon. I might not have watched it. No, it wasn't... The spirit cannon wasn't, like... It was a thing that produced, like, the spirit beam. It was just, like, a big tube that they yeah. stuck uh, the spirit branches in, and, like... And then we snapped them or something, and, like, <laughs> and made the it had, noise... like, shells full of stuff, and, like, exploded The noise somehow. from the movie. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I don't yeah. know. I don't know what that noise is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, yeah, yeah. so that's not the worst robot. That was a pretty cool robot. It was a terrible robot. It was so a, dumb. It was kind of dumb, but it was so a, dumb. It was like cool, kind of dumb. It's like the, but like Pacific Rim was kind of the same thing. It's like they were cool robots, but it was like dumb. No, but it wasn't even a cool robot. It was like silver and <gasps> tall. What's your problem with Gypsy Danger? I freaking love Gypsy. <laughs> Danger. But no, he's talking about the one from uh, 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 the Legend of Korra. Cor- Legend of Korra, still. Oh. I thought you were talking about Pacific Rim. Well, that, that one was like interesting because it was like steampunk robot it with was. the magic Your power. Yeah, they it was, steered it with metal bending, which was interesting. Yeah, so it was it was interesting, but not like good. But like, I don't think we're talking about power when we're talking about like worst robot. We're talking about like just the lamest robot. No, and I'm saying like, the fact that it was powered by nuclear power was cool. Yeah, that was cool. Um, most robots is that how it was powered? What, Gypsy Danger. Yeah. No, the one from the lunch. We keep switching between <laughs> Gypsy Danger and not Gypsy Danger. <laughs> Gypsy, Gypsy Danger. Is Gypsy cool. Danger. <laughs> Gypsy Danger is cool. That's all Looking I wanted to say. Uh, so, Gypsy Danger is the main one from Pacific Rim. Yeah. Oh. It's it's it just has a sword. It's the only special thing about it. Isn't Other than that, just like a normal super amazing? suit. It's a cool sword. Swords are cool. Oh yeah, it's like it's a whip, and then he like straightens it, and it gets straight. Ah, whip swords are the coolest swords. <laughs> I feel like super ineffective though. That's not important. <laughs> yeah. So, like, don't, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the sword part would catch on too many things. Uh, yeah, probably. But so, going back to worst giant robot, I can't think of like a really just awful giant robot though. Ooh, oh, 
Have you seen the comic I got kill? Yeah. Yeah. The one in the last episode. That wasn't bad, though. I hated it. Well, you just what hated it because of what it What about the tiny seats in The Legend of Korra? It killed the main character, Andrew. It killed the main character. That's true, it did. Except it didn't because the main character was a comma. But that's comma. also dumb. Yeah, that was it's also dumb. It's in the dumb. name. No, well, so the thing is, it's called a comic a kill. But Akame isn't the main... If you just watched the show, you'd be like, Akame's not the main character. Did not know. Except for the last episode, in which case... She's the, person, the only one she's alive. She's the only one alive. <laughs> and okay, I guess she's the main character. She's not the main character. That's not even a question. She's the main character. No. Just... She has no arc. She has no... She has an arc with her sister. Okay, she's got like half an arc that you would expect of a sad character. She ends the arc by killing her sister, right? Basically. It's a terrible arc. Also, her arc is like she survived. The main character. Which is like. The main character's arc ends with him like evolving past the point he was before and stopping a giant robot. Like, that's a main character style arc. Oh, no. And Akama had the whole like thing. And I know this was more uh, whatever the boss's name was. Uh, Esdeth? Yeah, with Esdeth. Yeah, Esdeth was the coolest. No, the main character was the coolest. Screw you, Andrew. I don't even remember what his name is. <laughs> that's why that's why I'm just calling him the main character. It was like Tatsumi. Yeah, it sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, Esdeth was the greatest. Tatsumi. Other giant robots? Uh, what other giant robots can we think of? Um, I mentioned XCOM before we started. We haven't talked about Evangelion on recording. Even Gilliam, like, was weird. It was weird. It was also... Weird. And, like, neither of us watched all of Evangelion. But the robots looked cool. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Okay. Dang it, what has bad robots? I think what has the worst robots is things which aren't giant robot animes. Yeah. Yeah. Like Legend of Korra. But the one wasn't it's even that bad. Or a time I got killed. Again, like, not that bad, it was just, like, kind of out of nowhere. Um, Batman. Batman? I'm not looking forward to his power suit. Why not? What's wrong with you? And he looks bulky. And he doesn't look nearly fast enough to fight Superman. Also, it, like, um, it kind of accentu- accentuates? I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. That sounds about right. Like, the conflict between, like, Batman and Iron Man being, like, equivalents. Yeah, that's true. And, like, Batman is way cooler than Iron Man until you put Batman in a mech suit, in which case he's just bad Iron Man. Yeah. Because his Iron Man sucks. Iron Man's Iron Man's so much cooler than Batman's Iron Man. (gasps) The Civil War trailer came out. Have you seen that? No. Uh, Oh, no, the Civil War. I did see the Civil War. Yeah. And Black Panther's in it, and it's awesome. I'm excited. (laughs) I saw people joking in the comments of, like, the YouTube video where I saw it. It's like, if you look real closely, Ant-Man's in it. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I loved Ant Man. Ah, the mech suit in Ant Man was pretty garbage. Oh, what? Wait, what mech suit was the that? Yeah, yeah, I had a oh, mech suit. Yeah, basically. that wasn't really a mech suit though. That was like it was basically that was like a laser. Armor. That was powered armor. That's yeah, like powered armor was different. Well, do we count? Power Should we start? No, mech suits is like a robot around you. Mech suits like, are bigger. Yeah, yeah. Like like um, the bad guy in Iron Man One, he had a mech suit. Yeah, and like a that was a good mech suit though. No, that was it, it didn't That was a kind of lame mech suit actually. They had worse the Iron down. Man. I feel like all of Iron Man's enemies are worse Iron Man. Basically. Yeah. I mean I guess Iron Man's and sometimes guys. they're like winning at some point, but Iron Man is just better in every way. Extremist guys were weird. Oh yeah, that was I didn't like those guys dumb. because they weren't worse Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but in the so second much... Iron Man there was a guy who wouldn't shut up about a bird. And he had and he had the dumbest possible weapon you can make with Iron Man powers. The whips? Yeah. yeah. The whips. What was your problem with the whips? Just have swords. Wait, what's your problem with whips in general? <laughs> yeah, what do you think of whips? They're just bad in D and D. That's like the only case where they're bad. And in normal life, <laughs> have a freaking sword. How do you feel like about if you're having sides are fine? I guess I uh, hate you so much. Sides on... are the worst weapon. Oh you're no, sorry. because no, no, because sides are different. Because sides are a weapon. They're worse because... than chainsaws. No, no, no. Chainsaws okay, suck. sides are a weapon in the same way that pitchforks are a weapon. And chainsaws aren't meant to cut through people like at all. No, well, neither are sides. Well, yeah, but they're meant to cut. But anyway, no, either. sides are a weapon in the same way pitchforks are a weapon. Where they're for farmer mobs. You'd probably cut off your own hand. 
But in their with head a scythe, if you try and cut off a person, you're gonna whack them in the head with a stick. That's okay. Not if you're doing it right. <laughs> What's wrong with that, Andrew? What's wrong with hitting somebody in the head with a stick? They'll turn around and hit you with their chainsaw. <laughs> No, they won't. You know how hard it is to turn around while carrying a chainsaw. Oh, I want to talk about XCOM. Okay. The mech suits have flamethrowers. That's all. They're cool. They're not actually mech suits. They're more like power armor. They're well, actually, they're like turning people into robots because they're one of those things where you have to like cut off all of their body except I've, their I'd heads. Basically, that is it like big or is it like power armor? It's uh. Well, so the thing is, it's is like it a robot with a person in it, or is it just armor? It's it's a robot with a head in it. <laughs> <laughs> you look it up, I will tell you if it's XCOM. Well, so if you just saw it, you'd be like, that looks like a mech suit. But then if I told you, like, but what is it called in XCOM? Uh, like mech armor. Oh, mech trooper. Annoying. I was going to say mech suit. Yeah. Why do they have. Do they have wheel legs or do they have. I think they have normal legs. Oh, they do have normal legs. Yeah, but see, it's like the only human part of this is the head that's poking out the top. That's true. I think I would argue power armor. What? No, that's, well, no, that's, that's a like, cyborg. That's a yeah, it's, oh, yeah, it's, it's a it cyborg. It's straight up a cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> that is different, you're right. <laughs> oh, are, then are the things from Warhammer not count because you have to cut off the limbs? No, those are um, mech suits, so they're different. Are they oh, no, but they don't... Okay, I don't actually... Do they, like, I don't think you have to cut the off the... They interface with the person. Then it's a cyborg, basically. Not really, though. Why not? Really? It's different. Actually, I, I would argue Pacific Rim, also cyborgs, because they have to interface with the person. Yeah, but the person's still a full person after they get out. Yeah, but that... So? <laughs> What's the difference? What, if you take a cyborg, Max, cut off its metal the arm, Iron like, Man so on... Is it the power armor? It's power armor, right? No, that's power armor. Yeah. Because it's, like, skin... It's basically, like, armor-sized rather than, like, mech suit-sized. Yeah. It's Terminator armor? Is that power no. armor? Or... Terminator armor is just robots. No, no, no. Uh, Warhammer. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Dude, no, it's no <laughs> Warhammer. Basically, basically, my argument is if you have to plug into your power armor or mech suit oh, or whatever... Like if then you're then you're interfacing cyborg. with your... You're saying it's a cyborg when the interface is like subconscious instead of being conscious instead of being like manual. If I have to like plug you into your cyborg, okay. then here is Warhammer armors. Well, no, but like, are there four people in there? Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. Also, it's been stalkers a while since in I Starcraft. You guys probably don't know Starcraft very well. No. So Starcraft, I don't know Between what's the, the deal with Starcraft. We know are. a lot of things. We do. Yeah, we do. Very little overlap. Yeah. <laughs> well, so. Starcraft there's these things called stalkers, and I can't tell if they're like what the hell they are because they're definitely they're not robots because they're like people in them. Yeah. They're they're well they're not they're aliens. Uh, yeah, so they have like people powers and they shoot like lasers, but they have like four legs and like if you told me that it was one of those deals where they were like they had all their limbs cut off and plugged into a stalker, I'd be like yeah that makes sense. But I don't see. Like, even the Dark Temple are being cool with that, which stalkers are. So, uh, they are Protoss, and Protoss are, like, they're basically the Catholic Church. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, and so there's the Dark Templars who are like, we hate you, and we're going to go do all our own things and not be plugged into your overmind thing, basically. That gives you psychic powers. Why do they hate psychic powers? Uh, I don't know because they get like teleporty powers instead and invisibility. But with psychic powers, they're still psychic powers. They're just different psychic powers. That's weird, and I don't like that. That is weird. Also, in in uh, Legacy of the Void, the new Starcraft expansion, yeah. all the all the High Templar, which are the Protoss, still in like the or Templar at all, which are the Protoss still plugged into the Kala, which is like their old from mind psychic power thing. Mm-hmm. They have to cut off their connection so the main bad guy, who's literally a god, like literally. Cool. Doesn't take over their minds. Wait, okay, so is the difference power armor and mech suits? Is the difference power armor when you move the stuff around you moves? Like if you've got like the power armor fist, you've got to move your fist to hit it. And where mech suit, you think about the fist moving and then it moves. No, or a mech suit is like, like mech suits are, mech suits like, is like you have like to, you've got controllers. Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Or it interfaces directly with your brain. No, I don't think, inter- I think interfaces makes it a cyborg. I feel it's like that's a better it's, a, it's connecting to your body. No, cyborg it. is when you take off part of your body and replace it with robots. No, cyborg is like a combination of a human and a robot. 
You don't yeah. necessarily have to take your it's stuff. No, no, because a cyborg isn't a full human plus robot parts. It's like most. If of I had like, like robot wings attached to my back so I could fly around, would not be a cyborg. What would I be then? Dude, you person with robot wings. I don't know. <laughs> I, I would they be like, called a cyborg. Are they like welded into you though? That's the difference. Yeah, they're like attached to. Oh, my then body. yeah, you're a cyborg. Yeah. But if you have like wings that you can put on that connect to your brain, well, that's just that like, doesn't make you a cyborg. It's different. Wings. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And Pacific Rim. You can think about the robots as you're putting on an entire robot yeah. on your hand. But like, well, so what different. do we call that? Because it's, it's not Power Room and it's not a mech suit. I think Why it's a mech suit. suit. I think it's, it's just a different form of controller. Yeah. It's we can argue it's Power Armor. No. No. It, power based armor, on no. Okay. Power, the, the definition we're going with is Power Armor is an armor, so like it's built like a human's built. Yeah. So you move and it moves. The difference Whereas between... mech suits, you have controllers, and that makes the mech suit move. I think mainly well, Pacific Rim, the difference we're was, going with mech suit, power, power armor, yeah. and giant robot... That's just a different way of control. ...is size. I think that's the main thing we're going yeah. with. Well, yeah. And so also, well, it's just mode of control and size. Like, if it's built around you, then it's a power It's power armor. Well, like, what, what percentage of, like, your body do you have to lose to go into the mech suit before we call it being a cyborg? I feel like, no, I feel like if it's hardwired to you, no, no, where no, you no. can't detach from it, then you're a cyborg. It's well, what if you're cyborg like, is when something gets like cut off or something, and then it gets replaced. Like okay, let's, well, say, let's let's just skip that for a second because I get that's how cyborg argument. worked in the Teen Titans. Yeah, no. So what I'm talking about His is, is like, for example, on XCOM, like they have like robot suits that are like human size so they walk around in, right? because you can't get out and of then it. they like go and get into their mech suit. Also, then oh. is it are they like cyborgs inside of a mech suit? Then, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, that. I think it'd be more like power armor in that case. I feel like it'd be more like power armor, yeah. It's just like big power armor. It's like how Iron Man is in power armor, and then when he puts on the Hulkbuster armor, it's more power yeah, armor. Yeah, it's still power armor, it's yeah. just bigger. Because it's around. Yeah. Yeah. Does this make sense? We actually got solved it. a thing by the end of an episode. Hey guys, aren't you proud? Oh yeah. Okay, let's continue. We're continuing? Okay. Yes! We solved a thing. <laughs> Too bad. We never solve <laughs> things. Okay, so what else? Um, other... Giant robots. If you, if you had a giant robot, mech suit or power armor, if you had to choose one. Power armor. Like, can I be a cyborg? Yeah, I guess. I'll be a cyborg. <laughs> I will download my consciousness into a computer and just become a robot if that's an option. You'll just be Ultron? Yeah, I'll be Ultron. <laughs> I'd go power armor. Power armor all day, every day. Power armor would be cooler than a mech suit, but I'd rather be a I'd cyborg have a slash... Suit. Like, Why literally. You, they're so bulky, though. I could wear power armor under my clothes. Well, it's like the question. It depends on the power armor. I might be wearing power armor under my clothes. You don't know me. <laughs> so so like, the question is basically do you want to have a tank or power armor? Because mech suits are just fancy Just tanks. have Terminator armor. Yeah. <laughs> mech suits are just. People they're just fancy shaped tanks. tanks. Yeah, it's a two tanks. armor save. Vaguely, That's the best you can get. Vaguely people shaped tanks. Two armor save. Normal power no armor, armor is just the three armor save. I think he's talking about Warhammer. In Warhammer? Yep. When you take a hit... Okay, so they rolled, the person <laughs> shooting at you rolls to hit, rolls to damage. If they succeed both of those, then you have an armor save. Mm-hmm. And you have to get equal to or higher than what your armor save is. So you can only fail an armor save in Terminator armor if you get a 1. On like a d6 or what? D6. Okay. Orcs have 6 to none. They're not very good. I you know what I hate? What? Like, D6 based role play games. So it doesn't have so D20s and stuff? Yeah. You just use, yeah. like, instead of rolling a D- D20, you roll, like, three D6s. They missed four adventure games like that, I think. I yeah, I don't like it. I just looked at it. With that. I just don't like it. I It feels inelegant. It's, it's not as versatile. Oh, yeah, you can't get a one. Yeah, no, and it's like, it feels like, it feels like unnecessary simplification. And I guess it's like, it's like an argument of how far you could go before it becomes too far with simplification. But it's like, do you want a lot of one die or like a or a, yeah, a lot Two of die? like a d six, yeah. a lot of d sixes or like a lot of different dies to fit different needs. You just need three die, maybe four. Well, so you need like four d sixes to successfully play any d six based role playing game. Mm-hmm. But for a d twenty based role playing game, you need a d twenty and a d four. No, and then like and then a d twenty a. Yeah, D4, it depends on D6, exactly. You can D8, get D8, different D20, ones depending D20, on exactly D12. what you need. You need at least a D20. And then also, depending on what your weapon damage is, usually. Yeah. We're done? Um, do you have anything else to talk about? 
let's talk about the Star Wars role playing game and why it's less good, worse than Dungeons and Dragons. Has, have you played the Star Wars role playing game? No, I have. It's worse because the problem with a lot of role playing games that are based off things is continuity. Yeah, yeah that is a huge where problem. If you place a role playing game based off of something, then you like have to Star deal with Wars. world continuity. Like killing Darth Vader. Yeah, exactly. Like you, you don't have, like, a big enemy to face if you have it in... And it's like you could be like, well, I could just put it a thousand years after Star Wars happens. Yeah. But then it's like, it's well, why like, play Star Wars? Yeah. Just play a random science fiction RPG. And so it's screwy. Dungeons & Dragons is nice because you can build different worlds that are just nonsense different. Well, so the best thing about, like, Dungeons & Dragons world building for me is, like, you they have, like, three different worlds that you can choose from already. And then yeah. on top of that, you can make your own world, or you can just not specify at all, yeah. ever, what world you're in, and just not talk about it. And like, that's equally, and it makes perfect sense, because who's, who in like a medi- medieval setting is like, what, what's the name of this place that we're on that's like a giant rock floating in space, I guess? Let's call it Earth. Yeah, let's call it Earth. It's like, it doesn't matter. Let's call it a city San Francisco. Ah, uh, good old San Francisco. Baymat. We didn't talk about Baymat. Oh, great. He's, he's, he's neither of these. He's just a robot. <laughs> yeah, he's just a robot. <laughs> but he, all the other guys have power armor. Betamax has power armor. Who's that? Baymax? Oh, Baymax. Yeah, he does have power armor that goes over his robot body. Does that count? Yep. That's, That's power, power armor. armor. Okay. Oh, actually, that might just be armor. Nope. That's just armor. It's got power. Wait, does it? Well, no, so I just no. Power the, the armor is something that between enhances power armor you. and normal armor. Yeah, it has like it, it enhances, enhances Baymax. You. Baymax well, no, which just defends him more. Like no, no, no. if you have like power it's armor, it'll like enhance your strength and stuff. Like it Iron Man is like twenty times stronger or whatever. Baymax is stronger when he's got his power armor. No, I've never seen. Also, he can never fly seen now. That movie. I mean, if you can fly now, it's probably power armor. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> that's 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 the way I'm going at it. Yeah, I guess it's power armor. But it's like, the Star Wars RPG Stormtrooper armor was power armor. Seriously? I think Stormtrooper armor was just power armor. But it doesn't have I think that it's much just power. It doesn't also, it's any... not very good armor. <laughs> yeah, no, it, doesn't, it actually doesn't make any sense if it's not power armor. I always thought yeah, they were all spacesuits. Well, they're vacuum yeah, sealed. Makes sense. They are vacuum Let's talk about Jar Jar Banks being a set board for Oh, yeah. Do we want to actually, do we want to put that on a different recording? We could do that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, goodbye. This has been us with Andrew. Hi. Bye, I guess. How does the theme song go? I forget.